you've probably heard the term lately. The infection dubbed flu Rona has captured the world's attention, but many people aren't sure exactly what it is or if it has anything to do with the twin demic that experts have been warning about. Boy, oh boy, it's always something new. And on this Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what this is now and whether or not we should be concerned. I think the biggest reason flu Rona has received so much attention lately is because it was given a catchy name. Cofluenza or Fluvid just don't roll off the tongue, but basically they are all the same. Just a mashup of the words influenza and COVID, which is what flu Rona is. The term flu Rona refers to infection with both the flu and the COVID coronavirus at the same time. It's not a new virus or a new variant. In fact, it's not even new at all. From the very beginning of the pandemic, in a paper published in the Journal of Medical Virology, researchers in China identified as many as 57% of cases of COVID-19 who were also infected with either influenza A or B at the same time. Now, a subsequent paper published in JAMA by researchers in the United States found a much lower rate of co-infection with the flu, only about 1%. But that paper did find other viruses besides the flu in 20% of people with COVID. COVID plus rhinovirus, enterovirus, or RSV infections were actually the most common. Symptoms of a simultaneous COVID and influenza infection aren't likely to be much different than an infection by either one of the viruses alone. Fever, headache, fatigue, body aches, cough, and a runny nose are common for both. However, the loss of taste or smell is fairly specific only to COVID. Now, the real question is whether being infected with both viruses at the same time is more dangerous. Based on data from early in the pandemic, the answer appears to be yes, especially the combination of COVID and influenza B. Now, at this point in the pandemic, it isn't clear how much more dangerous a combination infection would be since we now have vaccines for COVID as well as treatments to limit severe illness. Now, most hospital labs have the capacity to test for both influenza and COVID with the same nasal swab specimen. And especially in patients at risk for severe disease, this can be important to know since the specific treatments for influenza and COVID are different. Now, so far, this year is shaping up differently than last year when influenza essentially disappeared. We are seeing more flu this year, and though relatively uncommon, we do expect more people will become infected by both viruses and get flu Rona. Now, in case it's not obvious, the best protection is to get vaccinated against both COVID and the flu.